I want yeah. to talk to all my sister virgins. Please, really. <laughs> my sister virgins. Uh, allow yourself. It is over. It's time to release. Okay. It's Tia and Tia. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Love, Marriage, Sex with Tia and Tia. Guys, let's let's be real. Let's talk. Like, how many of you actually had a wonderful time your first night, that wedding night sex? Like, was it all that was meant to be? Was it like? Did you really enjoy it? Was it just there or did you have a horrible experience? Would you do it all over again and still want to do it that same night? Or do you think that maybe it's actually okay to skip that first night? That is the topic of conversation for today. However you want to title it, that's up to you. But that's what we're talking about. Guys, honestly, um, I know our last uh, channel we spoke about this. I want to talk about it again. Mm -hmm. It is a thing of joy to get married. It is a blessing to get married. However, we, I know we are so happy and excited about that first night and people have made it so much like it's about the sex. I will be honest with you. I would even prefer if I was told I would have used that day to speak into my atmosphere, my future and all of that. Now, however, I'm not trying to discredit the sex on that day. Some people, because it is a pile up, mm -hmm. no matter the stress, they actually would be Get very in. good. Yeah. They'll be very good with it. Mm. So what's your thought? Well, I feel like, again, if there is that build up, it all depends on how the day goes. If it was a stressful day, and I think this is more, let me talk to the guys now, because I think a lot of women are willing to wait um, mm -hmm. even past that first day. A lot. For us, we've been programmed. I, f I feel like half of the conversations even that I'll have with my best friend is like, man, that night, getting it in that night, you know? like So it's like all of that, apart from the, the days or weeks or months or years of, of buildup, you have that additional pressure that will be applied to you by even even maybe even your uncles maybe even the mm -hmm. pastor like have you consummated you before, your wedding before you guys might you know walk down the aisle like yeah you know you've been waiting all these years you know tonight after tonight after this ceremony so like you have all of those pressures it's just up there you know and so for us i feel like it's unto us it's upon us men to be very sensitive to observe it's going to be very hard because there's so many things going on simultaneously that wedding day right but I think extra precaution and extra attention needs to be paid towards your bride. Just kind of gauge yes. and see how she is. This is something that needs to be talked about by marital counseling. You need to observe her and see what she's like. You can tell if she's stressed or if she's not stressed. If she's not stressed, you can go ahead and see where the night goes. What happens to even foreplay? Like just play around do other things i'm not saying don't have sex i'm not like yeah, bro well, don't have sex but it's like i'm not talking that, about that especially virgins oh my gosh the trauma and then yeah, it's like their 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 bodies are like just contracting just the name of sex and i want yeah. to talk to all my sister virgins please really <laughs> my sister virgins uh, allow yourself it is over it's time to release okay allow yourself to enjoy it i know there's fair people tell you there's pain if you have a man just pray for a man that loves you and wants to enjoy your body okay if that is the case it's not penetration that matters it's not penetration and i feel like that is what the definition of sex is to everyone even the church so what happens is you ruin sisters you, whole the, the moment, experience there's so much tension yes there's tension you want to go inside you cannot find the hole and all of that yeah. the thing here is if you play for play with this lady the hole will open before you enter hmm. i don't know if i'm making sense the, you would not even find issues of hurt because all of the people who i have spoken to they're like oh yo it it was painful we stayed for and i know that yes there are hmm. there are people that have had to go for surgery i've heard about that however i want to tell you that when the muscles are tight that's exactly what will happen when you relax tension, your muscles tension. and how do you relax those muscles it's by playing with 
your bride's body play with her body till she is ready play with her body the first time do not carry your destiny and be going there you would rather just carry, just use your hand and gauge her use your hand and gauge her yeah. and know when she is ready don't be in a hurry or guy your body is shaking for the rest of your life you have did you, you have, have her for the rev you have I say for the river so yeah i think yeah just rewiring our minds to not think about we have to penetrate yes. the first night over the second night this is the thing cover you sh we were supposed to have this conversation about sex and your sex expectations right so there's one thing right it's one thing to talk it's another thing to act so the talking can happen she could talk about just ripping you apart ripping you to shreds she could be a virgin and she could talk about ripping you to shreds she's like is that's when what the body is feeling at that, that moment day, you can tell where her <laughs> mind okay. is and when it's just the two of you you can tell where her mind and her body is so you could know if she's actually meaning that she's going even to if she shreds, meant it if she has never tried it before it's actually please do not touch me okay so that's like yeah, i feel like it's the ball is in our court as men to to be sensitive to these things and don't worry it's going to happen like a week goes by fast you know that a week feels like two three days so it's going to happen just let it happen naturally because if you do it right you're gonna have a freak for the rest of your life yes if you don't do it right yes. two things are gonna happen either you're never gonna see that freak or it's gonna take a lot Long longer time. before that freak in her comes out and then you guys just close up like okay this is not working this is more than what i thought oh i'm so disappointed is this what people are shouting is this yeah. what people are singing and in doing you know yes and in, this, in addition to that you could be two non-virgins you could be two non-virgins that have a hundred thousand miles on yourselves <laughs> The same rule applies. Observe her because there can yes. be some emotional, some psychological, some spiritual yes. stuff that is going on. Where in your head you think, "Well, we've done it a thousand times before," or you know, "I've done it, she's done it a thousand times before," so this should not be a problem. Not nah, you still have to pay attention, engage her, and see if okay, this is something that we can do the first night, or it's going to take a few days. Yeah. Ooh, thank That's you for that, because we feel like those that are not virgins do not deserve respect right and so i keep saying it's not just her it goes both ways it yes. can also be a guy also so i feel like most women are when it comes to much more sensitive yeah sensitive and, yes, with that sure. however please men be very considerate because it is for your own interest mm. when this thing works right <laughs> it works you right. thank your god later that oh my god she is a freak and another thing we'd love to say here excuse me i would love to say here is please allow your wives to be freaks okay yes there's no option actually allow her to be because i've noticed that so many people are holding back yes because eh, is this you this is a bonus on this topic we don't want mm -hmm. to go further in it that's Thank another you topic yeah allow her to be a freak yes Ooh. all right guys so please comment let us know how it went your first night i mean you don't have to get into yeah, all the yeah. details but you know let us know was it was it is it something that you'd rather have held up on mm -hmm. or is it something that you actually don't mind doing it again and doing it that same night let us know uh like subscribe and please hit the notification button and we'll catch you in a later video thank bye you bye guys bye bye, bye. It's Tia, it's Tia, it's Tia,